What's up everyone? Welcome back to 865 RC Mania. I'm Michael Hogan, aka RC Attic 420 or That Darn Yankee. Coming up in this video, we have the Sportsman E Truggy A Main and the Sportsman E Buggy A Main. My son ran in the Novice A Main for the first time ever and placed third, but unfortunately we didn't get that on video. Work hard, play harder. Giggity giggity goo. Alright guys. So we will be live in less than five. Thank you. 
Brandon Greenwell is jumping all the way to number four. Matt Bryson gains a three position that last one. He gains a double on that one. Matt Bryson now with the number four position. He's played a hard charge for uh, tournament on that program. just seen in the video my son took third place in novice class for his second ever novice race the second ever race period with an rc car so i'm super proud of him he was slow but steady consistent and he just placed third he, i couldn't have asked a better performance out of him he did everything i i taught him to do for his first couple times out there i'm super proud of him for it third place great place to start awesome job bubba but myself, on the other hand, um, I didn't fare so well with my e-buggy. Um, in my first qualifier of two rounds, I actually blew the motor. My motor overheated and just completely seized up on me. Luckily, I was able to get it uh, swapped out with the spare motor I had just bought just in case my motor went out. Sure enough, I was right in the feeling that it might, so I bought a new one, got it replaced, soldered on for the second uh, round qualifier, just for one of the motor wires I just soldered on to pop off. Apparently, it just wasn't a good connection. But I did get it fixed and ran in the C main where I just had mechanical issues plague me. Uh, for the third time, that day it was yesterday uh we raced and for the third time throughout the day my steering rod link arm popped off the little metal ball insert that goes inside of it and i lost steering so i had to pull it off pop it back on i lost a couple laps i think i was two or three laps down by the time i got back on the track i was able to battle my way back to within a lap of the leaders but unfortunately i didn't have enough time to catch all the way back up and i finished dead last in sportsman e-buggy but you have that sometimes it's racing you can't have a perfect day all the time and it's still just just an absolute blast to get out there and run these cars on the track win lose or draw it doesn't matter to me i just like going out racing them and having fun truggy however i had a little bit better luck uh, it was the first time i'd ever raced a truggy 
and I was going up some, against some really fast drivers and I was able to place fourth in the main after some decent qualifying in the first round and the second round I had a shock eye pop off the top the little plastic insert that sits inside of it to hold it on actually broke and my eye like the whole top of the shock just flopped off the screw but I was able to get it fixed for the main where I wound up placing fourth it was an absolute blast I can't wait to run these cars more. Unfortunately, we didn't have a spec slash class this week, but running two classes plus my son running in novice class, it was awesome. Now my eight-year-old daughter's thinking about wanting to get into racing, so we might have that on the horizon as well. So fingers crossed for me, y'all. <laughs> but till next time, work hard, play harder, and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. Giggity, giggity, goo.